Hi everyone, today we're back landscaping. It's been a busy Monday morning guys. I already stopped by the shop to get all the guys ready to go for today's project. We have one crew going out to do some excavation, another crew going out to do some commercial mowing. And guys, I'm going to be doing two properties here. They both have to be mowed and we're in the next county over. Now guys, we're going to be using our 2023 F-250 with a Diamond C trailer. Now many of you guys might be asking Square, well where's the mower? And that is where we have to to go next we are going to be demoing a John Deere 1025R with a mid mount mower from the local D dealer which is super exciting I've been wanting to try one of these for some time to see if it's something we want to pick up here so why don't we head over to John Deere we're just leaving the local Casey's here I picked up a breakfast and I did fill up on diesel here so we should be all set here now as many of you guys know I've been in the market for I would say the last month or so uh, for another uh, lawn mower here commercial mower and I've been uh, test uh, testing out so many different uh, zero turns here but I, I really want to try a 1025R with a 72 inch mower deck I think this might be something that uh, would be really beneficial here because we could use it for so many uh, things more than just mowing during the season here but the local John Deere dealer this is a pretty big one in town this is on the other side of the town from the usual one that we usually go to just getting the ramps all ready here for us. It's going to be one of the first times we're getting to use a Diamond C trailer, but they have it right out front. Whoa, look at that, guys. This is a brand new 1025R. This is, I believe it's a 2023 model, and we only have the mid-mount mower. Now, with a 1025R, you could get the front lower attachment. Uh, you could get the backhoe attachment. Three points. I mean, this thing is so versatile. You could be mowing grass, uh, pushing snow, and moving dirt all with one machine here. But I'm going to go inside, do the paperwork, and we're going to be demoing this. Just really test driving it uh, for today on a few properties. All right, we're all set here. They gave me the keys to it, and they said to be back by 5 p.m. here. So we only have two properties to do. That shouldn't take too long here. But like always, guys, there's a full mods list link down below. And if you end up enjoying today's video, help me out by hitting the like button. That is a tight fit there with the wheel wells there with a 72 inch deck here can't really raise it too too much but right there seems to be good here i'm really excited to really see how the cut quality is here on it but we'll put a few tie down straps here on it and the first property we have to go mow is a uh, it has a barn on it it's like an acre property and uh with a pretty cool barn We've been super busy here with the landscaping business. We've really expanded the lawn care side of the business, but overall services as well. Uh, we've been doing so many different things here. So maybe buying a compact tractor like this where we could use it uh, when we need an extra mower or two for lawn care would work. But also we could use this, put a tiller on the back, put a fertilizer spreader, put a snow blower on the front. And, or even a snow plow here. So I'm really trying to uh, kind of see what is going to be best here for us. And let me know down below, guys, what would you recommend here? Should we maybe go with a compact tractor? We do have a Kubota a little bit bigger than this that we do use a lot here, but we'll get right to mowing. This John Deere 1025R I did convert from FS19 and it's currently work in progress. There's still a lot of features I want to get working here on it and uh, this is definitely a really cool mod here. I'm a big fan of these small compact tractors here and I really want to see how the cut quality is here. Now the uh, grass is a little bit taller here but this is another new contract. I think I've been doing like four or five quotes a day here so that definitely adds up uh, when we have almost half of these uh, uh, customers and ending up hiring us after we give them the quotes which is pretty cool here but the visibility up uh, up here on the 1025R is pretty good for a mid mount mower deck. This 1025R guys has a few features that are actually really good for mowing here and a few of them guys 
are that this actually has turf tires, which is awesome. We aren't really going to be causing any problems uh, to the grass here uh, compared to maybe dirt tires. The other thing was uh, the front loader attachment is off to make it a little bit lighter and uh, the three-point attachment was taken off. I really wanted to kind of get as mower uh, specifically as we can and just kind of have, have the other options. Uh, if we wanted to do maybe another demo later on this week for to move some dirt or something like that Demoing and test driving a new uh, piece of mach uh, machinery guys is I believe the way to go We're able to get it out at our own job sites here really put it through its paces and see if it works well for, uh, for our applications It's a lot better than just driving this around the parking lot of the deer dealer or even just mowing maybe the grass at the parking lot here so that's also why i really do like these demos i want to make sure we're making the right purchases because these machines are a lot a lot here but overall i'm really liking this so far We're all set here at the first property. The cut quality seems to be really good here. I actually really do like that we can mow at almost 10 to 15 miles per hour. This thing is pretty quick, which is awesome here. So we'll get it up on the trailer. Now, like I mentioned, guys, 72 inch deck is a little a bit uh, tight here. That is one thing here, just like the other uh, zero turns that we do have here. But up next, guys, is actually gonna be a storage unit complex here in town. I hope everyone had a good weekend here and is looking uh, uh, towards the weekend ahead of us here. We have some pretty cool videos and I do have some really neat things in the works here. Hopefully you guys will be seeing soon as well here and we will be doing some more multiplayer. So lots of fun things happening, uh, which I am looking forward to here. But we'll hop back here on the mower and I definitely want to uh, see if we could do a little bit more work to this. I have the option uh, for dirt tires, things like that here, but we'll get back to mowing. I'm actually really liking this. Having a mid-mount mower, guys, seems to be doing okay here for us, which is definitely a good thing. That was one thing I, I was going to have to consider here, and we could always buy maybe a three-point attachment here, but we're just going to keep on mowing and just uh, uh, keep putting the mower through its paces on this uh, storage unit property. Once I'm done mowing this property here, I'm gonna get this drop back off at the dealer and I'm actually gonna go help out the lawn care crew. They still have about uh, five more lawns that need to get mowed here, but that is it here. Just finish up on the entrances and one thing I noticed guys, is uh, sometimes you definitely do want the zero turn here, but I think we can make do with this uh, for some of the commercial properties, especially the ones that don't need like perfect stripes, perfect lawn lines and things like that here. But overall guys, I think this was a successful demo. Let me know down below guys, what do you think? Should we end up picking up this 1025R? But until next time guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.